Kevin. Yes. You're on the air. How you doing, Howard? By the way, we're going to be talking to a guy who's willing to cut his pinky off, his pinky finger off, in order to get on the show. I'm not kidding around, uh, but let me uh, first speak to Kevin. Go ahead, Kevin. I know it's sick. Kevin, you're on the air. Yes, I saw Jackie on the Hollywood Squares last night. I got some tape if you want to hear it. Sure. I don't know what he was thinking. I mean, he looked like a girl. He looked really bad. Everyone's saying Jackie's makeup. Jackie somehow got a second appearance on Hollywood Squares, which is... You know, he thinks it's his... Makeup the same as everybody else by the same makeup people. No, I think you, Jackie... got, you, you look like you had eyeliner on. I mean, it looked really put bad. Did eyeliner on you or mascara? I cer I'm certain they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. Jackie can look strange. I think he's just falling apart. Don't All right. be handsome. <laughs> hey, at least I look clean. You. you ready? All right, go ahead. Okay. Day one, Nick and Taisha are hoping to uh, get enough money today to come back next week in our semifinal round. Taisha, your turn. Jackie the Duke Man Martin. All right, for the whole thing show. Welcome back, Jackie. <laughs> Through the years, those who have made it spend an average of 316 days on what government list? Trying to successfully vote for Al Gore. <laughs> Don't mind me, I just drank a bottle of that helmet lying perfume. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, this is actually cheating. My wife, Nancy, and I are slaves to those cop shows. So I do know this is the uh, FBI 10 most wanted list. I agree. That's exactly what it is. Circle gets the square, All right. <laughs> what did he say? What was the question? It was uh, 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 people spend 361 days on this government list, an average of 361 days on this government list. People who voted for Al Gore? People who tried to successfully oh. vote for Al Gore. Oh, I see. oh, okay, okay, I get it. Unbelievable. I mean, he looked bad, Howard. Really? It looked really bad. Jackie? I mean, he, had, he had, like, eyeliner on. I mean, which, his square? Face was, <gasps> which, his... which square was Jackie in? He was the bottom right square. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no wonder he got called on. I did that years ago with the other Hollywood squares, the one before Whoopi Goldberg. And I was in this bad square. I was in the square underneath the, the, underneath the middle guy. Square, yeah. yeah, under Jim J. Bullock. Hey, Howard, listen. I know you had a Hooters game. You got a homeless game. Notice how Jackie's so like weirded out with his wife. He's always got to mention his wife's Hi, name. Nancy and I. Yeah, like, and now, now he'll be in like favor with her. Yeah. <laughs> You know, that's true. My wife, Nancy, and I always... Trying to get away. He's the Why only guy... I'm a slave to the cop show. He's more... Nancy and I are a slave to those cop shows. He's more concerned working that Nancy name than being funny. <laughs> I'm telling you. He's got a weird thing. I wish I could get inside your head. looking bad that I didn't even know what I was doing. No, I just wish I could. I think, like, Nancy's mad in a way that he's on Hollywood Squares. So he's got to make up for it by mentioning her name? I think she has a... Uh, this, I've always had this the theory... Same for her that they say is going on for Connie Chung and Maury Povich, that Nancy's uh, jealous of Jackie's success? Yeah. I've always felt that from her. Connie Chung syndrome. Like, I mean, really she's bad. happy that he's I making mean, money and stuff, but at the same point, she'd like to see him... Why not going to blame her for me mentioning her name? Yeah. Oh, I know it, because you, you have such a pressure to get that name out there. <laughs> yeah, my wife Nancy and I... Hey, Nancy, I got your name on you. What do you see? Tonight you're going to be mentioned, so don't be jealous of me, man. You're on the show, too. You're on, too. I'll get laid my way. All right, whatever. <laughs> if, you gotta, if you're married and you got to... look fine, by the way. Did you if, you, if you're married did you, did you and you, you got to... If you're married and you got to get your wife's name on the air or else, tell me if that's happy. Why don't you make a movie about her? Okay. Well, about yours. What about my life? I did it already. It's called Private Parts. <laughs> I made a movie about my life. My wife was a big part of it. My and soon, uh, my and so, now my wife isn't such a big part of it, and, and soon you won't be either. See? <laughs> it all works out. Right. Hey, Howard. And, yet, and then Nancy will be happy. Nancy had nothing to do with what you were going to say. Hmm. I was working my head like Kermit. <laughs> He'll never be honest. He has such a pressure to get that name on there. What other guy has his... Uh, he's, uh, my wife, Nancy! No, I've watched the show. I've never heard anybody else say my wife and I. Yeah, right. To answer a question. My wife and I watch it all the time. My wife, Nancy, and I watch We're it. We're slaves to the cop show. Yeah, right. <laughs> I didn't mention the band. <laughs> We're slaves to the cop show. <laughs> what show? And the band. That band is going nowhere. Fast. Uh, <laughs> They're going wherever Jackie can send them. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie.
Jackie. Nancy won't be satisfied until Jackie is off the show and is, is sitting at home with her. With her, yeah. yeah. Making, be, make, 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 make an album. About how they're unrecognized. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Why did you take me off the show? <laughs> no, but everyone else, finally happy. Nancy, I'm here. My wife and I, Nancy, watching the show. Slaves. We're slaves. We're slaves. slaves. Cop shows. We're slaves. We're slaves to it. I'm I like, brainless. I like Lord I'm poor. 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 And then she's probably pissed anyway because she didn't get to go to California with him. And I, I just know the whole scene over there. Yep. You know, so. so I got like you, you Nancy, I mentioned you. Please don't be mad. Please put up with my drinking. I said we were slaves. Does <laughs> <laughs> that cover anything? I mentioned you. Maybe, let's see, maybe the next Tomorrow answer. Tomorrow week. <laughs> what, Nancy? Ah, try the veal. Yeah, the veal. I think I got edited a few times. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, Howard. Yeah. I know you played the Hooters Hang game. I think you might got a homeless game. Could I please play a homeless game? Hooter dick. Hang hey, on. did we ever finish that, Hooter, that Hooters girl? She was no. really no, bad. No, we didn't. Right we didn't finish it yet. I got to finish that today. Yeah, I can play it. Please, please, Howard. Please. Guy play. please. You got any more Jackie tape? That's it. But I can get. he's going to be on all week. I'll tape it all week for you. I swear. I'll call him every you, morning. You only it. got called on once? Well, no. I think I was turning channels, and I think he may have got called on twice. Because that's mm. how I saw it. I Make sure you tape all Jackie stuff this week, Gary. Yeah, Why are we relying on this guy? Uh, pull that. <laughs> Did you tape uh, Hollywood Squares? Anybody? Yeah, yeah. In fact, I have the one uh, Jackie was on once last night. Yeah, Jackie, you were in a crap square last night. He got the crappy square you were in. Yeah. Yeah. I was oh, in the crappy oh, square all oh, week. Oh, week. They didn't even move. But, you know, any square Jackie is in, he still has his, his uh, CD to hold up. All I know is I'm watching. They go to commercial break. They show Jackie. And he's holding up that CD. He's the only one who does it. Everybody else is sitting there yeah. like a human being. Yeah, I know. And no one's going to buy a CD with him holding it into the camera. Like, have some class. You can't see what it says. No, it's you just see the cl- I know. waving around his CD. And, every, and, then, and then Tom Bergeron has to announce Jackie's dates. That's weird. So, at some place. <laughs> Uncle Funny is next week. <laughs> Uncle Funny. He goes, Jackie the Jokeman will be at Uncle Funny. And you can see the guy's like, all right, all right. Listen, you jerk off. They put the CD in the square. The guy told me to hold it up before we went to But why do they put yeah, it in the square, it though? It for your why do they put it in the square, Jackie? Because you are making a point of it. You said to him, what do I do with my CD? Come on, Jack. Stop acting like you. you, you I mean, it's ridiculous. You're on national television. You know, for once, what about just promoting yourself? But, but holding up a CD? I mean, who's going to buy a CD because you're holding one up and you can't even read it? You just look... Like God, like yeah, let Tom Bergeron do the you plug. Know, I mean, he is right. Jody Foster did, you know, hold up a uh, trailer of her movie. You know, right. right. <laughs> she wasn't on Hollywood Square. No, but she was on Jeopardy. I'm sure. Well, no, no, she's making an album in her basement, <laughs> so she wants to sell it on, on Hollywood yeah, her Square. Her whole press CD. She, hmm. she held it up. Like Terry Farrell sitting next to you. You make five times the amount of money Terry, Terry Farrell does, but you got to be holding up that that schmata. That Fakakta. The knickknacks. Items. Items. Knickknacks. I'm surprised he's not wearing the T-shirt. Oh, yeah. He's not completely out there. I wore it out there, and they told me I couldn't wear it. Yeah, see? <laughs> I told you. Did you really? <laughs> was, there, was there ever a discussion about giving out your uh, your address or 800 number or something? Yeah. <laughs> right, because you're not allowed to give out 800 numbers. Yeah, and he wants hey, to pretend that they told him hey, to do this stuff. Hey, give me. Do, put up my 1-800 number. Do me a favor. Come on. Come on. Put, let me put my T-shirt on. Here's what happened, Howard. Tom, ask me how. Ask me how I think you get my CD, and then I'll give you the number. Dumb thinks he knows how it works. The producers got together, and they're like, Jesus Christ, this guy's so up our butt. Just let him hold up the CD. We can't That's get his it. number. And yeah, right. go in and say, Jackie, all right, hold up the CD. And he goes, they told me to do it. But Howard, do you think his manager calls and goes, uh, listen, Mr. Martin. No, I think Jackie, to... Jackie does it all himself. Yeah, I don't think the manager wants to be involved. Yeah. I think Jackie does it all himself. No, No shame. Low class. Because <laughs> his man is, is is also, you know, everybody loves him. Yeah, he right. has uh, actual real class. I don't think the executive producer. Who's his, who's his uh, manager? He, he also manages, you know, Roy Romano. Oh, does he? He's the executive producer of Everybody Loves Raymond. Oh. oh. So I don't think he wants to negotiate <laughs> P.O. boxes. <laughs> yeah. Roy Romano. It's a, long, it's a long client list from Jackie to Roy Romano. <laughs> hey, Howard. 
Here, here, here's uh. Howard. Here, wait, this guy. Yeah, hey, hey dude, I gotta move along. Hey, can I can I play for a prize? I can't believe this guy's mad at me because you know. I'm, I I, got, I gotta move along. I don't have a prize right now. Sorry. Oh man, next hard luck thing. Yeah, you put him in for a hard luck thing. Take right? my information. Yeah, hold on. Cool. Oh, me nuts. <laughs> Hello. How you doing, Howard? Yeah, this guy's got the taper jacket in Hollywood Squares. Then I got to take a break. I haven't okay. even broken yet, but Jack, yeah, no shame. I'll tell you. Go ahead. Let me play this. Starts off with a plug. Watch. But <laughs> he's holding up the. Man for the plug. All right, Jack is the joke man. Marvin, by the way, Jackie's at the State Theater in Detroit Friday, March second. All right, Jackie. At some schools, freshmen are called plebes. At the military college known as the Citadel. Freshmen in their hellish basic training are called what? Alcoholics. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Chuck went to the Citadel. We used to talk about this. They're called, like the Army, they're called private. I'm going to disagree. They're called My knob. friend Chuck. Knob. <laughs> Circle gets the block. Hey, Chuck, I worked in your name. I worked in your name. Hey, Chuck, come on, Chuck TV. Chuck Sack went to the Citadel. It isn't even so bad that... By saying that, it led to cre cre it isn't credibility even so to my answer, which made her think I was telling the truth. It's not even lying. so bad that... No, it's not at all. Oh, shut up. Most people go, I have a friend who went to the Citadel, not Chuck. My friend Chuck. Yeah, yeah everyone just knows Chuck now. So we sit around talking about this all the time. I haven't even seen the guy in 10 years. Yeah. Why would you be talking about the Citadel all the time? Hey, time? Chuck, call me. You got in the clear blue. Like gonna yeah, you know, we yeah. started talking hey, about Chuck. the Citadel. Hey, Chuck, did you hear your name? <laughs> Hey, Howard, you know what was, uh, we played our best of? What's funny is when they go to commercial and, okay, that Tom Bergeron is, is saying they plug. Yeah, which he does for everybody. Jackie's holding up. Yeah, everybody. we know. Jackie's holding up the CD, waving it yeah, into the camera. Yeah, and showing you the whole square. Yeah. And you can't see what Jackie's doing. You just see him holding up, you know, and you know everybody what? else is sitting there. And you know Jackie's going to have a CD. And he waits for that Sales camera. Sales of F. Jackie, like, doubled the week I was on Hollywood Squares last week. Wow. Night. He works with props. Well, like, yeah, count. from one to two. What was yeah. that? I'll take that. <laughs> How many years has it been since you haven't had a product for sale? Never. J Jackie. <laughs> what, what does that mean? It means, in other words, you, there's always a CD. Always. Right. Always something. Right. Hey, Howard. <laughs> yeah. I have more tape for, uh, two, for Jackie for you tomorrow. I got to go. Thank All you. Right. Happy birthday, Jackie. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks. It's, it's turning out great. So, <laughs> so far, so making good. a mockery of his whole stupid life, <laughs> I don't, I, and I'm sure the doubling of the sales from the CD were from Hollywood Squares. Couldn't be from this show. No, no, wouldn't be no, this. Hey, this the show. fact that he has sales <laughs> are from this show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's where the sales come from. You wait for that bump from Hollywood Squares every once in a while. Yeah, Hollywood Squares. Got a big Hollywood Squares bump coming. Yeah. Get ready, Nancy. You have to tell your mother to fire it up. Fire it up to do office. Buy Make sure stamps. all the lines are free. Buy more stamps. Buy more stamps and blister packs. I <laughs> blister packs. <laughs> do we need more styrofoam popcorn? Four dollars shipping and handling. I gotta tell you, I don't, I don't know if it still works that way. But there's nothing funnier than going to the basement uh, of Joe Clan uh, and seeing the bin. No, let's call it what it is, Jackie's house. <laughs> see the bin and you see the, the, the uh, T-shirts and you see XL, L. Yeah, M, all labeled. All like yeah, now they're up high so the flood doesn't get them. <laughs> so great. <laughs> <laughs> An insane overabundance of Joe cards. Right. Those are everywhere. Because those are free. All right. The best was when Dominic said he went down there and the jokes were floating in the water. He said Jackie had him hanging on a clothesline. His funny. joke cards drying him out. I hope his wife enjoys half his money. <laughs> there you go. All right, I got to take a break. Uh, I'll be right back. There's so many funny things to talk about. So many people on the phone. So many people stopping by. We'll 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 be back right after these words. From Ralph or Howard or something, because Howard looks very very clean. You guys are so scuzzy, and you just look dirty like a bum. So gross. Oh, it's just disgusting. Oh, oh. I'll take Jackie the Joke Man for the block. All right, Jackie the Joke Man. Marlon, by the way, Jackie's at the State Theater in Detroit Friday, March 2nd. All right. Can you repeat that? March 2nd. Detroit. March 2nd. Oh. <laughs> Hold up shirt now. Can I wear my shirt? That's funny. That's funny. Wouldn't let me wear it. <laughs> wear that shirt. <laughs> yeah, I know. Back to Jackie. All right, Jackie. Okay, yeah. Jackie on Hollywood oh, Square. Yeah. Yeah. 
first of all, who, the host, he tried to give him his little plug. Yeah, what's the name of the CD? F. Jackie. Yeah, uh, F. Jackie. Uh, like, completely inappropriate. The first joke out of his mouth made wait, no wait, sense what's whatsoever. what's inappropriate? What's inappropriate, my friend? What's inappropriate? Him saying the name of the CD? I mean, no, 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 Jackie, everything's no, no, no. a plug. Just, just, I'm proud Everybody of that. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of him that, you know, he just didn't know how to handle it. Uh, let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. look like, you know, a geisha. I mean, <laughs> the CD's been out for eight months. Selling with it yeah, really. Whoopi's not there. <laughs> went home sick. All right, let's uh, let, let's listen together. This is uh, Jackie. I appreciate you breaking my balls because they've asked me to come back. This is the first time so Jackie <laughs> is called on. Okay. Ready? I'll say it's Jackie the Dope Man, Marlon Kinnan. Yeah. in the Howard Stern Show. Oh, why do I have to be mentioned? <laughs> yeah, you can be louder than anything. Why do I have to be mentioned? It's what I do for a living, Sherpa. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie. Yeah. On Oleo Records. Oh, my. Oh. Yeah. What's that? Oli that's even embarrassing. <laughs> Oli like from the Howard Stern show, like some my some kabuki guy makeup. <laughs> and then he just gotta mention all his friends' names and the jokes and yeah, F Jackie. Jackie, <laughs> USA Today reports that the Grinch starring Jim Carrey features more characters in heavy makeup than the previous record holder, which was what? The eyes of Tammy Faye. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do they write that for you, Jack? You wrote that? That was great. Wow. I did thought you... of it right then. Wow. No, no, no. They, they write. I did the show. They write the jokes for you. The guy from Raymond was funnier than you. No, but why But why you do Kermit these... the Frog was funnier than him. Why do Kermit you... was funny last night. Kermit. First of all, I don't know who's working Kermit's voice, but that ain't Kermit. That was That's me. A different guy. Awesome. It sounds like some drunk is up there and got a hold of the Kermit puppet. The guy is funny. I was doing me and Kermit. And boy, if, if Henson's listening to this, man, he's rolling around in his grave. I got to tell you something. The, 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 whoever's working the Muppets now doesn't even give a rat's ass if it yeah, sounds it like sounds Kermit. Like Kermit got a set of balls. Yeah, he's like, um, okay, uh, what do you want to know? <laughs> Kermit. Oh, I'm hey, did crazy. Did you see what Jackie was wearing last night? No. He had this Hawaiian shirt on. He must have been high when he got dressed or something. I mean, it looked ridiculous. <laughs> I just heard the makeup is piled on real it, thick. It's very white. And very I don't white. know why, because everybody else looks normal. You know, oh, they have shut normal up. coloring. Shut and up. Shut up. The piling on. is bleached white. And if you notice, only contestants call on the makeup for the you. black. Hey, Jack, seriously, wear. why don't you write your own jokes for that? You're funny. What? No, no, what? No, no. no shh, sir, calm down. What? What? That's Why the you... funniest thing I could come up with. What, you write a joke about that. No, I'm just saying I'm you... Saying, go ahead. No, I'm saying that you always have... Why, you, why use their jokes? They don't even use their joke. What do you mean didn't use that joke? I said don't use it. I didn't. You've got to be using it. Oh, you wrote that. Because it's not funny. Did you write it or did they? That's what I'm asking you. You figure it out. But, here we go again. Yeah. I'm going to frustrate Bruce you. Bruce Blanche turned straight on that joke. What is the big deal? Like, can't you talk like... I tried to make him. I tried. They wrote that. I tried to talk to the guy. Then he won't talk. No wonder I get mad. Because I don't want to sit here and get my goddamn balls broke for four hours. I'm not breaking your balls. I'm asking the day. I'm asking you. That's not breaking your balls. Asking you how they work the system. Do you have to read their joke? I don't have to do anything. Right. But did you read their joke? I read their joke because I couldn't come up with a funny one. I couldn't. All right, fine. I'm just asking you. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I giving you a hard time? No, you're giving me a stupid time. Good. You think your balls are being broken when somebody tries to talk to you nicely. Eat me. That's the guy on the phone. It ain't me. Oh. And what about the... Uh, back to Ruby. And what about the uh, Kermit the Frog guy? What is he like? He's on his knees back there? Yeah, where is he? Did you meet him? No, Kermit's real. No, of course the guy's on his knees. Is he working there. on his knees or is he sitting in a chair? He's, he's underneath the square. On his knees. I don't think he was even on his knees. There's no room under there. He's like, uh, I forget. I'm not gonna ask you. What? There's no be... room for somebody to even be on. I'm the asking you there. how they work it. He's jammed in under there trying to work Kermit. That could be a funny story if you if you saw the humor in it. No, he was busy getting out that Tammy Faye line. That's right. <laughs> I would sit there and go, Hey, there's a guy stuffed under Kermit's chair. Forget that. What's edit... that guy doing under Kermit? <laughs> Who's that guy? It ain't Jim Henson. <laughs> This is a prime example of angry, belligerent Jackie. And, you know, exactly. The cutaway shots this is of the, the third day in a row. I'm getting attacked, and I'm. Oh yes. So I'm not attacking you. I'm oh. asking you a question. Shut up. They do the cutaway shots and the reactions after the joke. You know, someone laughs. Yeah. It was uh, who was that woman? It was some country singer. She actually got a kick out of it. 
No, nah, what they do, I did the show. They just they do cutaways. Yeah, just, you don't know where they. You don't know where that laugh is pulled up from. She wasn't even on last night. Right. You want to hear Jackie on last night? I got it. No, I have it. Oh, you got it. Okay. Was that the only one? <laughs> that would have to be Star Wars. I agree. The Wizard of Oz. Circle gets the best uh, effect for you now, Coco. I thought that was right. <laughs> Let me hear a second bit. All right, Coco. Jackie the Joke Man for the block. All right, Jackie Martling at the State Theater in Detroit. Mark. <laughs> no. He's got a plug every time. Right. Second. Jackie, you're asleep. You know what that is, Robin? Wait, I can't hear. Do you know what a C is? We're trying to listen to the tape. I'll turn, turn down his mic. I'll turn down his mic. Jerry's ice cream flavor was named after the fictional holiday from Seinfeld. <laughs> Does it rhyme with Dolores? <laughs> <laughs> what, what was this? I, don't, I didn't hear it. That's a big Seinfeld reference that only him and Tom, whatever his name, got. No, he said there was a, a ice cream name. There was an ice cream named after a fictional holiday or something that was on a Seinfeld episode. Does it rhyme with the Lord? Does so it rhyme with the Lord? So he means clitoris. That's funny. <laughs> Please. That was one of the episodes in Seinfeld. Oh. He was an avid fan, okay. so of course he remembers that. But and it had nothing to do with the answer one, to the joke. The that would have to be George's silly idea of uh, celibus. I disagree. Festivus. Festivus. Circle gets the block. Jackie. Yeah. The only show That's funny. That's, That's funny. Idea. Jackie, you got to take the Jackie puppet and sit underneath the thing and work that. <laughs> well, you hey, how are you doing? Nice working on a show full hey, of models. Hey, hey. Jackie Dukeman here. Every day's happy Halloween. I don't know if the puppet can hold up the CD, though. All right. I'll have to glue it into its hand. Okay, Jackie, the joke man for the block. All right, Jackie Martling. Yeah, Jackie. Jackie, Yale University is one of the few schools in the nation that uses this language in its official seal. It was written in what? I'd have to say hieroglyphics. I disagree. Hebrew. Hebrew. Circle. Oh, gets the oh, I don't like Jews. Uh, How come no joke? Yeah. Didn't want to question Jews. It was late. I couldn't handle it. Yeah, I was burnt late. out. I was burnt out for my first two jokes. It's only a time for a plug. No joke. Yeah. I couldn't do better than the last time. Thank you stayed there to Detroit. Much more important. Yeah. I like to go out on a big laugh. State Theater in Detroit. State Theater in Detroit. Sure you Jackie, can. what's your answer? F. Jackie, State Theater in Detroit. No, you're going to have to come up with a, a bluff. Or, that's my answer. State Theater in Detroit. Next time. You know what the hieroglyphics are? State Theater in Detroit. <laughs> we got to play Guess Who's the Black Chick. Chris Rock will be in here. Thank you for playing that. That's fun. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> State Theater in Detroit. That's fun. Take theater, Detroit. <laughs> oh, hey, before we go to break, I just got to say my favorite story in the newspaper today. It's me on Hollywood Square. No, we're done with you. Oh, no. <laughs> we could have probably what, done a you funny bit. the whole time, and now you're sorry it's over. Yeah, we could have done a fun oh, bit about Kermit idiot. the Frog and the guy who over. the guy who sits underneath the chair. You could have given us some insight into that, but no, you got to you, You're all defensive, man. That's true. You're silly. True. You're silly. All you know how to do is plug. I ask you a question. Hey, what are you talking about? Oh. With Silly. CD in hand. Yeah. <laughs> More plugs. Hey, uh, Jackie the Jokeman Martlin was on Hollywood Squares last night. Was that Jackie Martlin? <laughs> so they called on him twice, and at the end credits, they let him do jokes. Hey, Jack oh, Jackie's Jackie's the whole uh, show now. <laughs> Big guest host. I gotta hear what he did. All right, Ann. I'll take Jackie the Jokeman Martin for the block. From the Howard Stern Show. Oh, keep my name out of this. <laughs> From the Howard Stern Show. Howard Stern. Howard Stern. Yeah, when that when the girl from Becker comes, I go. Ah, oh, from Becker. <laughs> <laughs> it's so different, Robin. Oh. You're at the State Why Theater in Detroit. To Me too. March 2nd. No, I'm not there. I'll There's the plug. State Theater in Detroit. Wow. March 2nd. March 2nd. 
Well, you know, I'll try to get there, but <laughs> probably not. Uh, well before the advent of the Lazy Boy chair, Benjamin Franklin was credited for inventing this piece of comfortable furniture. What, what furniture? Toilet seat. No, 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 wait, wait. <laughs> well, I went over good. <laughs> what happened there, Jack? Let it play, you jerk. <laughs> Uh, somebody else invented the toilet seat. It was Benjamin Franklin's idea to put the hole in the middle. <laughs> oh, there it is. Hey, it was a major improvement. No kidding. No, seriously, I know the answer to this because, believe it or not, the first one was made out of hemp. It's the hammock. I disagree. The rocking chair. Circle gets the block. Hey, wow. throw the marijuana thing in there. You know, I... Oh, never mind. Go ahead, go say ahead, it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. He, he Ain't in my a, ass. Go he ahead. thinks he's a great bluffer. Yeah. You know, he's been bluffing all week. You can read his bluff a mile away. Right. That's you're so smart. I'm Robin. a great bluffer. She bought it. Yeah. That's why I threw in the knee. Yeah. That's why he says, Nancy and I, or Chuck and I. My friend grew pot. That's why it's a hammock. Right. It was him. Uh, actually, I know this. Yeah, you don't you have a phone ball to make? I know <laughs> this one. I'm not bluffing. Oh, damn. Jackie the Jokeman Martland for the win. For a tie game. All right, Jackie. For the outside Jackie. Last year, Florida State quarterback Chris Weinke, at the age of 28, became the oldest player ever to win what? Uh, my cousin Craig graduated from Florida State. Oh. <laughs> oh. God. He's kind of working. Shameless. In, he works in the names of his I'll, friends. I'll say your name. He's an erotic compulsion. I'll, I'll say your name, Craig. Well, well, excuse me. <laughs> Trying to get in the word here. What? What are you doing? Why do you do you have a neurotic? No, 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 no. Do you have a neurotic compulsion to work in somebody's name? Yes. Sure, I'm being serious. So am I. Wow. It just occurred to you. I mean, hasn't his whole life been this? Yeah. But I didn't know it was like a compulsion. But he's been doing it. You know, there's no reason to put people's names in the songs. There's no reason to put the names in the jokes. Oh my oh, God. Just put a, it's like a, a desperate thing for people to love him. Like, I'm desperate for people to love me. This is psychologically so sad. I admit that. I just stalk people. Seriously, Jack, do you have a compulsion? I'll be, I, he I'm, can't stop himself. I think that would be cool. All right. Keeps me up to date on this. It's the Heisman Trophy. I agree. We have a tie game. The every, Heisman Trophy, yes. Every time they call him, it's the same thing. Yeah. My wife, Nancy, my friend, Chuck, my cousin, Burf. Uh, I mean, first my you know what I mean? What, what is that? He can't help it. There he goes. It's Perf's birthday. Yeah, it's a, uh, I'm gonna get a, don't have to get him a gift now. See? So here's Jackie during the credits. I'm Tom Bergeron. Join us tomorrow for Hollywood Squares. Take care. Bye -bye. There's a blonde in Geography 101, and the professor says, what's the capital of Wisconsin? She says, W. <laughs> <laughs> a college freshman says to his girlfriend, how about a quickie? She says, as opposed to what? <laughs> the hell was that? I have no idea oh. what they're going to do. That's the, uh, that's the picture of Whoopi that they do at the end. Yeah, her production, production, production logo. When how? When how? When how? The little production. dancing radio no. comes up. And they asked me to tell those jokes. When how? Well, when of course they did, Jackie. Production. We didn't doubt that. It's when how production. Where is my Jesse Jackson call before the guy with the popcorn? I got I... Hollywood Squares again. No. No, I can't sit through uh, that again. Uh, uh, my friend Chuck, my wife Nancy. Detroit. Who else did you mention this week? Cousin Craig. Uh, Cousin Craig. <laughs> Burf. Burf's birthday. Burf was left out. Where's my, go home? Where's my Jesse baby. Jackson call? Oh. Well, the Howard. Hey, Vey. Don't you mention your engineer Scott? Yeah. <laughs> and my crack staff. Done. Okay. Um, bring you know, in... Howard, do the popcorn guy because your Jesse Jackson call is almost ready. All right. Twice. Thank you, Gary. That was a help. Let's. Uh, I was just about to do that. Let's bring in this guy. This guy claims.